What's up wizards? I know you have just clicked on a very clickbaity thumbnail and video, but I think I can justify it. I have this week released a library that fixes some of the things that I hate about TypeScript. So I'm going to show you why I created it, how it works and how you can install it. One of the things that's always bugged me about TypeScript is that it sneaks in these any's into your code without you asking for them. Any any in your code is going to make it less type safe and I'm going to show you why. Let's imagine that we're getting something from local storage. We save that in an item variable which is either typed to string or null. We can say if the type of item equals string, we can say that the past item is json.pass item. Now we can extract things that we've stored in the local storage, like for instance an ID. But this past item can't actually be trusted because this has been stored in local storage and local storage can be tampered with. Past item could be null which would result in a runtime error. So we should probably be wrapping this line in a check that checks if the ID exists. But it's kind of troubling that TypeScript doesn't warn us about this and instead this is perfectly valid code. That's because the thing that comes back from past item is any, which disables type checking on the thing that it represents. If past item was typed as unknown instead, then it would force us to validate it properly. In this case, that means checking that past item is an object, then checking that it's not null, and then checking if it's got an ID property on it. For developers who care about robustness in their applications, it's really frustrating that JSON pass returns any. And wouldn't it be better if it just returned unknown by default? Some of you are going to disagree, but I think some of you will be saying, yes, give it to me especially the lead developers out there who want to make sure that everyone underneath them is doing the best validation they can. Because if you don't validate, that's when bugs come in. So this is how you do it. Back in our file now, we can see that past item is represented as any. But if we import this library, total TypeScript TS reset, it suddenly changes its type to unknown. Now, if we remove all the validation code, it's going to yell at us properly. So this is the library that I've created, TS reset. You can install it via NPM and then import it once into your project and it will affect your entire project. And it will give you lots of little improvements like this that make your app more type safe and give you smarter inference on certain things. Let's look at my personal favorite thing it fixes. Let's imagine that we've got an array. We have some strings in the array, but we also have a member which is undefined. Let's make a filtered version of that array that removes undefined. This is a shorthand for something like this, which has a similar effect. But the annoying thing here is that TypeScript still thinks that the filtered array contains undefined. So let's add the magic import and see what happens. Look at that. Now filtered array understands that it only contains strings because when we pass a boolean constructor to filter, it will now understand at the type level that you can remove all of the falsy values. And it's these tiny tweaks that I'm really excited for for TS reset. It does kind of bug me that I had to use this NPM organization as the start, but you're not going to believe this. While I was tweeting about this idea, someone stole TS reset out from under me. It might have been a coincidence might have been. But you know, benefit of the doubt and all that. I'll have a link to TS Reset in the description below. I'm really keen to see what you think of this. This is designed to be used in application code, not library code. Because if you use it in library code, then you might accidentally import it to the consumers of your library. And then they would be opting in to TS Reset without maybe knowing it. There's one final cool thing here. You can actually opt into only the rules that you care about. So if you only care about JSON pass, then you can just import that one. Or if you want fetch to return unknown, then you can do that one instead. But if you want all of the recommended rules, then you can just remove this prefix and import from TS reset. So I don't know if I've fixed TypeScript by doing this. What I think I've done is I've made some ergonomic improvements more opt-in. So you can incrementally do what TypeScript may itself do in the future. I do believe that the TypeScript team has reasons for not making these changes. So I wouldn't bet on them being part of TypeScript anytime soon natively. TypeScript has too many libraries to support. It's too big an ecosystem to ship these kind of breaking changes. But having a reset that you can just opt in is perfect, I think. Thank you so much for following along. You can find me at totaltypescript.com, which is my TypeScript course. We are so close to finally releasing it. I like finished the filming like a couple of days ago. And you should check out the beginner's course as well, which is a great primer and shows you everything that you need to basically get a job doing TypeScript. I'll have another video that you can watch here and a little face that you can subscribe to here. Thank you so much for following along uh, and do contribute to TS Reset. Read the readme see if there's anything that I could improve and I'll see you very soon.